Hi my friends, thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Maggie and I do all types of skincare, self-care, and spiritual care type of videos. If that's something you're interested in, please stick around by hitting that subscribe button so that you never miss another upload. So in today's video, I'm here to share some feminine hacks that I have recently learned about and just overall been using over the years just to try to help some of my sisters out out here again I say sisters because I look at you guys as family and as my sisters alike so I am here to not only encourage but to help young women women you know who just simply don't know or understand and that's what my channel is just all about educating women just letting everyone know that we are alike we are under the same Love. we are made from the same person and everybody's not perfect so that's what my channel is all about anyway so and some of these you may have heard already and hopefully there's some that you can learn from today so let's get into these tips now so my first tip is to use white and unscented soap and towels most soaps vaginal wipes vaginal sprays contain perfume and dyes that can throw off our ph balance down there which can lead to bacteria and yeast infections it's best to use white unscented or unscented feminine wash for down there and also use a white um, wash rag or your hands you never want to use pink or purple or any colored um washcloth because they are dyed to become that color so we don't want all of that running up in that area okay so white cloths is always best my next tip might be pretty explanatory but it's to never douche I know some women are still using douches because they're still on the shelves they're still in every store and drugstore that I go to so somebody's still out there buying them but we should all know by now that douches contain so many harmful just ingredients that's not meant to go up there they don't actually prevent or treat any smell or yeast infection or anything so so when you douche you're really just irritating and and rinsing your inside out with all these harmful chemicals and, and, and products and ingredients which can then lead to more bacteria more yeast infections and that's not what we want and studies also show that douching has been linked to infertility and put you at a greater risk for STDs so if you still douching girl put it down and try my next tip which is tip number three and that's to, is to create your own douche now I know we just talked about the risk of sticking something up there spraying on the these harmful chemicals up there but but the real reason douching is actually frowned upon is because of the harmful ingredients and chemicals that's in it however the act of douching is actually highly recommended and can leave your lady parts smelling all good and fresh okay but there's a way to do it simply just buy a douche pack okay empty out the stuff that comes in it so that you can use the bottle and what you want to do is fill it halfway up with water and halfway with natural yogurt not only is it safe to go up there, natural yogurt or plain yogurt contains a good bacteria necessary to kill yeast, okay? So if you can't refrain from douching, at least try your own and try those natural ingredients instead. My next tip is to wear cotton underwear. I know we all like to look sexy in our lace and in our satin underwear, but if there's no cotton insert right there, oh, that's just a breeding ground for bacteria and smells and sweat and it's not okay because she only needs a good pair of cotton to help her breathe and to help to minimize the moisture down there now lace and other you know satin materials they're fine to wear on special occasions but just not daily it's not really recommended daily under all your clothes you know that's just like I said a breeding ground okay not having that cotton insert can trap moisture and cause irritation down there and guys that's not what we want and it's very important not to wear underwear that's too small okay that can lead to chafing and rubbing you know against those creases and yeah it's not a good feeling all right so make sure we're wearing comfortable underwear and make sure we're swapping it out for some cotton underwear more than our lace and our satin okay. all right my next tip is to shave or not to shave some women prefer it and other women don't and whatever it is is perfectly fine in fact pubic hair actually prevents dirt and bacteria from entering our area down there and protects it from skin injury okay so it's a lot of actually benefits to having and keeping your pubic hair down there but 
we have to keep it groomed we have to keep it exfoliated we have to keep it dry down there and we know if we don't do that that just leads to more bacteria that leads to stinky strands and just keep it groomed down there ladies okay especially if you got a man running around like it's not cute we don't like them on not groomed down there so i'm pretty sure it's the same with us if we do choose to keep it you know nice and natural down there so whether you're bare or you're natural down there always always um, exfoliate her regularly even with hair to prevent any buildup any dead skin and all that that can also form down there as well and don't forget to keep her nice and moisturized with some coconut oil okay that's all i use that's all you need we don't need any bath and body works or any strong perfumes oils or anything like that just some nice coconut oil to keep her nice and moisturized down there my next tip is to let her free at night sleeping naked actually improves your overall hygiene because our bodies naturally sweat it's recommended to sleep without clothes anyway wearing underwear traps all sorts of bacteria moisture sweat into them which is not good for her so let her breathe all right so tip number seven is to shower after intimacy. Now I see a lot of tips on to pee or piss after intimacy, but guys, we have to make sure we're cleaning her regularly after intimacy. No matter how romantic things may get, it's very important to you know, clean her up afterwards. I know I mentioned moisture a lot in this video, and that's because even moisture from sex, especially from sex, can cause irritation. And you just want to make sure you're ready and nice and clean for next time and not swapping and using all those same juices from the first time, okay? So so just always make sure that you're showering as well and him. Make sure his ass is showering after. And my last tip, again, it might be another self-explanatory one, but it is you are what you eat. We all know the importance of eating right and eating healthy. And even though things like onions and garlic and some herbs can be very nutritious and be can be very good for us, even alcohol and beer, eating large amounts of, of those types of food can cause you to smell kind of sour down there without even really realizing it. So even though you can still eat them, also try incorporating more um, foods that promote good vaginal health. Plain yogurt or pineapples, oranges, grapes, berries, and apples, you are what you eat. So you're going to taste like what you're eating too. So always keep that in mind. I always keep a big bowl of grapes, oranges, apples, bananas. Like, like I always keep a, a snack like that handy and more citrusy food fruits like oranges, pineapples, things like that is going to really, really, you know, get into your stream and get into your body and, you know, can eventually, you know, enhance your taste in that way. So, so just remember that you are what you eat. Those are just some of my quick little feminine hacks and tips that we can start doing today that we can do right now to start promoting, you know, good vaginal health down there, okay? She's ours, we have to take care of her and so it can help us to maintain good health down there overall. So that's all I have for this video. I so hope this was helpful. Hopefully this helps someone really give that DIY douche a try, okay? And I would love to know how that worked out for you. But until then, I will see you in my next video. Bye.